Hello everyone, I thought I'd make a short video on fun that you can have with uh, Bomothymol Boo. Here is the Bomothymol Boo that I was talking about. And what it is, it's a 0.1% acre solution. What that means is uh, by volume, because I forgot to mention it's by volume, uh, but by volume, 0.3% of this is Bomothymol Boo. And since it's a 30 milliliter container, um, that means 0.03 milliliters of this solution is one with Imabu, and the remaining 30 milliliters is water. I have with me pre made, I have water, which is uh, neutral. I have in this cup, so in this cup here, I have a basic solution, which is actually just um, tied mixed with water. And in this cup here, I have an acidic solution. So these are different cups. The acidic solution is just um, a a bleach. Pour some of the water into the cup. So just straight water. With so here's the one time I'm going in. I get four drops there. One, two, three, four. Every drop is about 0.5 milliliters. So, uh, 0.25 milliliters. That's about one milliliter of them. And I start with a stir stick. That's kind of a weak solution, right? So you can't really see the color change. So I'm going to dunk in a Q-tip, and I'm going to drop, drop a glow with on the Q-tip, and look at that, a brilliant green color right there, which is what color the water should be. I'm going to try and put a couple more drops in, so what we get here, it looks kind of blue in the water, but you can see here that it's supposed to be green. And so from here, I can add uh, a base, and I'll... I should mention, Bomothymol Blue is an indicator, so see how it's green, or it should be green, uh, right now. Um, what's going to happen is, when I add a base, it's going to turn blue, uh, and that indicates that it's basic. Green indicates it's at equilibrium, so it's the, uh, the color change point, and it's really hard to get green, actually. And uh, yellow indicates something acidic. So I'm going to pull in the dish up, you can see it turn more blue. See, did you see a dark blue change now? If you can't see that, I'm going to dunk in a Q-tip. So I got that right there. I'm going to add a drop of blue time blue with the Q-tip. So here we go. Right there. That's nice and blue, right? So I'll, I'll put the two up. This is the green one from earlier, and here's the blue one from now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and show you something here. So. To the acid base thing, so this is just something I want to show you before we move on to the acid. So that was just water, and I'll put drops in there. It should be kind of green, and I'll put a Q-tip in just to prove that it's you know green. So there we go. Now I'll add an extra drop so you can see the green color. So there's a oops, sorry about that, guys. There we go. There's a brilliant green color right there. And I'm going to blow into it with a straw. And what I'm doing is I'm adding carbon dioxide, which is acidic, just the carbon, and it should cause a color change. So I'm going to see if I can get a color change now. Hopefully it's yellow. Green is a lot more green looking from your perspective. Um, so here's the color change. The one on top here is this one. Is more green. This one's more of a yellowish green. So it happened a little bit. But not that much because I guess I just I can't get enough carbon dioxide dissolved into the water. So I tried for you guys. Okay, so I mix it all together and I add my acid already. So I'm gonna drop some bubble time on blue and mix it up. And look at that! It looks like a yellowish green color. It was kind of hot tub. So I'm gonna dig out a Q-tip here and dunk. Okay, so I'm gonna dunk it in. Add my bone time up. And there's the color. Nice yellowish color. And if you're not convinced, well, I have the other two here. So, yeah, like we said, Jenna. Starting from left, going to right, there's the blue from the base, the green from the just water, and, and slightly neutral, that's the intermediate color. And right there, that's the yellow from the acid. And that's all I have for this episode, so it probably wasn't as sure as I wanted it to be, but I hope you enjoyed it, and have a nice day, everyone.